at some point you're going to end up with a client that you basically either say, I can no longer do any more or you just walk away from whatever it is, but you will end a project totally. and not finish it because of the communication just was never going to be right. All right, so we're back. So it seems like today we're kind of going a little more old school or back to the, the roots where we're going to kind of jump into a project and yeah. go extra deep. Yep. Yeah, for sure. This has been one that's been brewing now for, <clears throat> we worked on it for what, what'd you say, a year? And well, some of the guys in the studio uh, had some funny comments as like, I think I got engaged, married, uh, Jill, my wife got pregnant and we had a kid. You definitely had a kid and through the whole process. And it was a long, yeah. Uh, and then it wasn't done yet. Yeah. So it was like a long, and when you put it in those terms, you're like, oh, that, that actually is kind of long. Yeah. It was a learning experience, I think on on our part in ways on the client's part. Um, so yeah, I think there's some good takeaways, but, but all in all, it was a longer process than it should have been. And we're going to jump into, you know, some of the reasons why this is yeah. just a small snippet, um, behind us of some of the work we did. We will run through pieces of some of the rest of the work or some of it. We won't get through all of it. Um, yeah, before we hop into it, uh, hop into it. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, that's good. Right. That you ties made, in. You worked in. on some lines last yes. night. <laughs> All right. Before we get into it, we have, uh, coming up here April 12th. Um, we are going to creative South. Yep. Columbus, Georgia, pretty hyped. Yep. Um, yeah. Fly out East. And I mean, at least to me, this was like one of the first design conferences. Obviously there's the other older ones, but this was like the first of kind of my era. You know, I think we've been talking with Mike uh, Mike Jones uh, for a long time. So to finally go and speak and have a bunch of the team members there, pretty hyped, you know, it's going to be fun. We have Jordan and Dave are doing the type workshop. So if you didn't go to into the woods and take that, I highly suggest you grab some tickets because it's really cool. You get this workbook that they bring, um, and it's yeah it's a rad class yeah it's pretty cool it's like it really covers type throughout the whole gamut for like custom letter forms font making um and just even how to take like a, maybe a font tweak it and make it customized and cool yep. so they kind of give you all the points and you know they got some jokes mixed in the middle and <laughs> it's just a whole a fun time so grab a ticket yep totally I'll see you out there yeah totally all right so let's jump into it so the client hopworks Local brewery here in Portland. Yep, they've been around for a while. I mean, 10, 15 years. Yeah. Uh, well, the, one of the first big challenges is they were called Hub, and then it yes. was Hop Hopworks Urban Brewery, um, and we were able to convince him to to basically do what all brands are doing and, and whittle down to the core. And let's not be Hub, let's be Hopworks. Yeah, exactly. The owner is you know an outdoorsy type of fellow, so he goes mountain biking, snowboarding, this whole thing. So he he wanted to kind of shift gears and tie it into that, you know? And so we are right away like, okay, cool. But the word hub has to go totally. Or it needs to be a hub of not a bicycle. It's got, yeah. I mean, maybe, but it's got to change, you yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah. uh, but when doing a rebranding, you know, like let's come super fresh where it's almost a new name, not really, but it's like mm-hmm. just totally new, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, so it was cool. So we had a kickoff meeting, uh, with the team, at Hopworks, um, kind of got their feedback and then had them all in the studio here. Um, and they came with mood boards ready to go, which is great. Yep. We love, we that. love that. Yep. So let's pop open some of these mood boards here. And then with showing these mood boards, this definitely dictates, um, a lot, a lot of things we did, you know? Yeah, it did. Absolutely. You know, and, uh, they had strong reasons for the images. You know, there was a lot of stuff that kind of leaned into either motorcycles or, skateboarding vintage skateboard not yeah. vintage but 80s 90s skateboarding totally. so i mean even like throw, going real back and looking at so they were yellow red and black which yeah. is an, an awesome strong color palette the red and the yellow are pretty close in value once you grayscale it so with that we convinced them to get ditch the red so we went uh black yellow white which gives you it just a looks great and then b you have that nice value some of you'll see in some of the references there are some old school yamaha bikes that yeah. use that so it's like we know this color palette looks great um, we're looking at some of the skate reference here i mean these are who who doesn't love the ripper and indie i mean these are classics you know yeah. tony hawk vcj yeah uh, so you know when a client comes with with an inspiration board like this and it's motorcycles and skateboarding, like, you know, Dustin and I right away are like, let's go. Yeah. You know, this is going to be great. Knowing that they had been around for like 15 years, a staple in, 
in the city, they actually have a store, a restaurant in uh, the airport in PDX, you yeah. know, which is cool. Super sick. So yeah, it was definitely it was one of those things, you know, well, you talk about like dream clients, but as far as like somebody in town, I was like, hell yeah, this is great. I've had their beer, been to their, you know, their restaurants and stuff. Like, let's do this, you know, let's, let's help them out. Even to think about our team, Brandon Hunsaker being like one of the, you know, top 10 legend skateboard artists. Yep. It's like, well, we already know who's going to, what the black line is going to look like. You, you could already close your eyes and see the whole project. Yep. I don't want to say it was going to be easy, but in, in your mind, you're like, this is going to be a slam dunk, you know, swish. Definitely seemed um, like it for sure. And I think visually it did end up that way. Uh, just the process was wild. And some of this, I feel like this is kind of, you and I made this decision of, we felt so confident in the mood boards that they brought. Then we felt very confident that we knew the look and feel, oh, yeah. you know, it was like, you could see it from the beginning of like, Oh yeah, we know what this is going to look like. Yep. like. So let's just dive into showing the branding with a can mock-up. Yep. Like typically we wouldn't really do that. We'd encourage, encourage the client like, Hey, let's, let's work on this logo. Let's get the branding dialed and then yep. we'll move into the can art. That's a whole separate thing. Totally. You, we'll go, we'll start with sketches. Yeah. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. some of these we went straight to final with because I mean, we, we felt confident looking at the mood board. It's like, well, let's just do the project. Let's yep. just do it. You yep. know? So yeah. yeah, looking at the first concept here, I mean, you could see some of the heritage of the old hub branding. I mean, even looking back at the OG hub stuff, I mean, they are very much inspired by that constructivism obey you know almost that whole russian vibe yeah. you know and that that was actually so of the time back then that was pretty sick so it's like how do we make it modern skate still have some of the old visual language but but updated and this i think from the get-go you love this one yeah. i thought this is a slam dunk for one thing, the hop, the way you took hub and basically made a version that was hop. It's fucking, it's like this. that. Um, their, their restaurant in over here in Camas has a massive sign that is that shape, you know? And I, I, when we started this, I'm thinking like, fuck, like if that thing was a circle, easy swap out for yeah. the new branding, you know, but it has those notches. I'm like, oh, damn. You're either going to have to take that twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 sign down and do a whole new one yeah. or like that's a good totally you know solution for it and that's you know it, it is a rebrand we're not starting from scratch yeah. this isn't a new company so there needed to be a thread that tied back to the original yeah, totally um and this honestly was the best option like, i mean even looking at this that this wasn't the final type but this is the closest thing that started and got picked on round one that, that top right word mark with the round 12 yep. you know what i mean which yeah. is like okay we got one of the mm -hmm. the components through you know yep yeah and yeah, the I render the render is fucking amazing too yeah, yeah. i could yeah. taste the beer <laughs> and then brandon i mean if you're talking about skate skate art you know this is ace of spades yeah so do we we have a ton oh, of them well this so is, that's kind of the old one, but it was black and white. It had the, a similar skull um, to that. So we can even go back to like the original. Why we did this. Yeah, why we did this and why we thought it had to have illustration like on the can and as a central piece. That was part of their old cans and branding. Totally. So they didn't want to lose that. Yeah. They just wanted a different style of illustration and look and feel. Um, Things change over 10 years. It was like it was 10 years ago, you know? Yep. So that's where we jumped right into Ace of Spades was the, the one, their kind of Imperial IPA. It's a, what is it, a 19-ounce can? I mean, yeah. yeah it's Gosh. Like a big, big bad boy there. <laughs> Who wants a 19-ounce of Imperial, <laughs> Imperial IPA? Imperial IPA. Gosh. Like, <laughs> like two of those and look out. Coors Gang over yeah. here. Like, gosh. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we dove in and like I said, we took the time and effort to work on the branding, take that branding and apply it to the can as well as to do the illustrations yeah. of what that, um, basically in this case, the Ace of Spades, because it was a skull before, yeah. they wanted to keep that. They wanted to see if we can combine a skull and an ace together totally we have some amazing like concepts yeah. that you'll see here but I mean, this one's crazy just yeah. to see the, yeah, that spade going through the mouth and the mm -hmm. eyes like, gosh, that's wild. Yep. So some more options, top right type there, pretty much stayed the same. Yeah. And icon was kind of the idea. And then it switched from bolts to trees to mm -hmm. mountains to back to trees, maybe. Yeah, I forget. To, yeah. And we didn't throw bolts in there just because bolts are cool. Like they had, 
when we were at their mm-hmm. store and we were kind of sitting down for the first time, they used to use a lightning bolt for two, different. It was like two lightning bolts. Yeah. So it's like, all right, this is great. Mm-hmm. Um, what can we pull from that? And so. it just looks cool to your point, yeah. you know? Yeah. And that's where the owner kept going back to like, it needs to scream outdoors. Like we want this outdoor vibe. Totally. Like that's where we live. That's what I do. So we're trying to work in a tree at some point, you know, trees, mountains, what can we do with that? So, and then the all white is fun. Yeah. All white, great illustration, Mm -hmm. like masked as a pattern. Um, Yeah. More heritage vibes here. Classic. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of beer layout. But again, with the skull, the spade, like when a client gives you like outdoor skull, spade, like needs to tie back to our original brand. You know, there was like four or five things kind of there in the in the end when we started looking at the Ace of Spades can and it was like, oh shit, that's a lot to fit on there. And I mean, all these are like dead on. Yeah. To yep. me. Mm-hmm. So yeah, this is the first look at the illustrations that the illustration team did to provide to us to start graphics with. And yeah, some of the bottom rows didn't even make the, they were like more playful and experimental, but to see those ideas of what's at bottom row, we got the spade and the the skull kind of, yeah, that's like muscles. one of the craziest ideas <laughs> I've seen, you know? Yeah, that thing's awesome. Yeah. But this was like, in the beginning, it was very kind of back and forth as far as do they want to go aggressive or because their old cans were a little bit playful. Very playful. You know, so Very it was Portland. A, little, a little younger. Yeah. You know, and they did mention like, hey, we want, when you go into our stores, they have merch, they have shirts, they have hats. Like we want the 30 to 40 year old to like be like, I want that shirt. Totally. And then what they currently had, they, that's not really happening. Yeah. You know, Maybe so, one of them was that, the abominable. Yeah. But then, yeah, yeah, the rest just get pretty young, you know. Yeah. So that's where like, cool, let's lean in on the, the skate thing. Brandon, do your deal. Skull, spade, yeah. throw some trees and stuff in there. Let's see what happens. Yeah, and give me a crazy black line with some crazy shading. Like that's going to be skate and, and a 30-year-old person, you know. Yep. But then when you look at the bottom row there, then we kind of throw it to Damaso. Like, okay, hey, what does this look like if if it's toned down a bit and it's not super aggressive? You yeah. Know? I mean, I, I'm looking at that bottom skull had the spades in the eyes that Damaso did. Like, I feel like that thing went pretty far. It, yeah. it didn't, didn't go. But, yeah, some of these are fun, dude. We need yeah. to look back at these and i mean that far right one with the hat the, the bucket skull hat the bucket yeah hat. like a summer tea or ooh. yeah and then these kind of moving on to these davy worked on some of these more kind of i guess you could say jim phillips santa cruz style totally yeah but good integration of the the yeah. spade you know yeah. what i mean like just fun ideas top right like might get that tattooed one day i don't know yeah <laughs> that's cool so then moving okay. on. So here's the first look at just illustration sketches that we got that are, yep. yeah, just different fun ideas of their existing beasts. They had five beasts that they weren't willing to change, which is cool. It's part of their heritage. So we're just like, all right, what is the tree frog? And the I forget, the honey bee or whatever, the, yeah. the, the beastly, you know, what does he look like? And the robot panda. So um, pretty cool renditions here. I mean, none of these got ran, but damn, these are fun. Yeah, playing off of what they had before and totally. just taking it to that next level, giving it that skate vibe. Yeah. I mean, shoot. Damn. I haven't seen these in a long time. Yeah. Like, some of these need to, to go somewhere. Right? That's what Look sucks. At the frog. There's like, just so much art that, like, you know, lay, lays in the grave that it's like, man, we got to do something of this. Maybe we could pull one out and make a hat or something mm-hmm. with, you know? Yeah. Like, we had this all on the board out there. We had, like, probably half of it up. It yeah. took up a whole board on one whole side. Yeah. And then it was, you know, it gets to a point where you're like, we're not hanging this next round. Yeah, you know? yeah. Let's look at, on, look at it on the computer. Yeah, get so, the darts out. Yeah. Yeah. We been to, we fucking went all in on this thing, dude. Yeah. Um, so right. that was round one. Uh, absolute bangers <laughs> in there. I don't know the count of logos, illustration, can layouts, icons, and all that fun yeah. stuff. But, um we Bangers went we there. went out on a limb went yeah. above and beyond oh yeah um he wanted a lot of comps to look at and and paid for a lot of comps not as many as we showed um we like i said we felt very confident and we we're actually you know everybody in the studio kind of was like you know this is gonna be fun this and that let's uh let's get everybody kick in on it so we went above and beyond on that round one and looking back now like was probably a bad decision yeah. and, and probably you know most of that is i would say is my fault like hey let's not get that deep like we're going way too far um it's hard when that the stuff looks that good you know yeah. what i mean because it's like this is gonna work one yep. of these will stick and then yep. we'll make the series based mm-hmm. off of one of these and then we're then we're cruising 30 percent of the yeah. way there yep we yeah, got the path like, it's game on 
Yeah. So at round two, he ended up picking a couple of illustrations, maybe some ones that we didn't have as that kind of, uh, I don't want to say aggressive, but that adult skate look, you yeah. know? So he ended up picking some pieces. Uh, all, they're fun pieces. Don't get me wrong. They're a little younger, yeah. which once we get to round three or four, he mentions that they're too young. We can't <laughs> sell beer to kids. And it's like, okay, we get that. But some of your other stuff is kind of young too. So yeah, a little bit of like a gray area, but I mean, what we thought was going to work in the beginning, the kind of skate aggressive vibe that he had showed us, he came back and was like, I think it's too much. And let's meet him, you know, let's go down to this direction, totally. uh, which, and then seeing this, you're like, okay, yeah, we're kind of like, it cool, works. we can back this. If yeah. this is the way you want to go. Yeah, we got it. Yep. And here's three. We yep. owe just, I forget seven or something. So here's half yeah. of it. Yep. We're close. We're going to, we'll finish this soon. Here's what the the, the uh, labels look like flat. Yep. Yeah, a couple different options on how the, the floods are sitting and is there additional colors or minimal colors. In the past, they just had solid cans. Yeah. So we showed him some of that. We were trying to get a couple two-tone pieces in there just to, you know, something different, you know. Yep. Even with these, like these three are, are a different round of, of illustrations yeah. with the skull. A little more animated. Again, a little approachable you could yeah, say yeah. which is kind of what he kept saying and not scary yeah not scary yeah um worked in some shapes behind him for extra layout to kind of give it that beer touch mm -hmm. and here here's the illustrations by themselves like these are fun like that bottom center goat is wild like uh yeah <laughs> yeah that thing's fun but, yeah everything so about can, it damaso did all these yep um but you can see that they definitely give off different different vibes. You have the skull that's just, you know, basically static, the one who's yelling, you know, mouth open. So it's two different feels, but in the same style and hand, you know? Yeah, it's like, do you want a little more animated or do you want it a little more kind of, I guess not, you know? Yep. And then we we weren't even sure if this is where he wanted to go with the illustrations, so we kind of came up with a whole new style of illustrations, which these are even totally different. Uh, the abominable on the far right or the Yeti, whatever, that shit is so sick. The most random shape. Like, David, David came out of nowhere. Yeah, with these. yeah. love that, dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it is cool. And then Damaso did even more concepts. If you look at the bottom row of this page, I mean, even the frames, like, I mean, these are off the wall ideas. Like who in their right <laughs> mind would come up with that? Like that is so fun. Because we had talked about the top left is the goat and it's basically uh, a taxidermy head, you know, mounted on a piece of wood. Okay. And then Damaso takes it even further with mounted in a frame with a nail hanging the frame, you know, like so I love it. So fun. Even on the bottom right, the side profiles again, like, to, to imagine all these as side profile instead of whatever the three quarter view, like just yeah. so fun. Look at the beanies got the roll. Like that's a creative director that yeah. that skull <laughs> on the bottom, right? Yeah, it is. That's great. <laughs> There's even more. Look at these. So this is like, so, I mean, we could go off on a, on a totally different tangent of like illustrators and skills. And like, we have a job posting for an illustrator, right? Um, if you're an illustrator and you're watching this, this is all Damaso. One person. This is all different styles, right? Um, and honestly, to work at a studio like this, like we, it doesn't work for us to have an illustrator that has a very set specific style. Totally. Like Brandon and Damaso do. If you tell them just do what you want, we need to know exactly what Damaso's piece and Brandon's piece is going to look like because they will, you know, they default back to like this is what I love to do. Yep. Um, but they definitely know, like, if, if the brief is very open and the client wants to see A to Z, they can do A to Z. Totally. Like, it's almost it's hard to find. Totally. It's like, I know they're illustrated and it's not design, but it's a difference of art and design. Like, art is for yourself. Design is for the client. Yep. And what they're doing is what the client wants. They want to see a range of stuff. Yep. Um, just the same way. Imagine if I only made badges using Helvetica only. Like, you got to, you know, have some diversity. Yep. So, yeah, just as far as illustration, the range, like, you know, to, to work as an illustrator a lot of times in a studio environment when the, there's going to be a lot of different projects, clients, and asks, like, you can't be pigeonholed into, I can only do this one style. Totally. Like, it won't work. Like, the freelance, yeah. Like, you're going to get hired to do your specific style. Exactly. Here, these guys have to shift and move and, and be able to change that style and look to meet the brief. So, moving on. So here's some other ones. More sketches. Black and white sketches. This is like full body um, playing off of what they had in the past. And then we moved on. 
to this is where they wanted to combine they wanted they basically took yours and kind of smashed them together they picked some yeah. types they picked mm-hmm. some icons we took them together that one of the badges they liked we we merged it and and we're thinking we're getting real close internally you know yeah. like all right we're getting there yeah. uh frank even animated some cans that are just super fun spinning around yeah we're 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 confident now we got yeah. this can going like throw that shit in 3d yeah make it move yep like we're getting close yep and then so let's go let's roll on round three round three so now taking it back again to actual label layout. It's like okay we got illustrations great mm-hmm. let's lay them out yep he wanted he was pretty simple i just want a white stripe across the top a solid color on the bottom and at this point we're like all right we're just gonna kind of meet in the middle and get you what you want it definitely looks good yep. um and we were just doing it with two i think yeah we owed him seven in the end so it's like here's two of them if you like it we'll blow out the whole family you know and that idea of the white stripe up top was great you know oh yeah their their stuff is very much based on on color yep. of the can and and the beer and, and they all have a color palette which is cool and the white was if one of the few things that stuck and yeah. they, they ran it. And it looks yep. good, you know, yeah. especially on shelf. You're like, all right, yep. I like that for sure. But we, we couldn't get them to commit to that is part of your brand. Yeah. Like it's always white. Yeah. You know, like leave that. Do not touch that. The color blocking below it changes depending on the beer, depending on, you know, the illustration. Cool. Can we agree that that stays? And it, it kept going back. I like, think let me see it in black. That sums up the whole project. Just kind of like commitment issues. Like it is yeah. scary. Like I would be scared because they're mentioning like, oh, we got to order two years worth of cans. I'm like, well, that's a lot of cans. Um, so it's kind of scary to commit to that. But yep. um, yeah, now as we're scrolling through these compositions and looking at them, we get down to icons and we started to do icon exploration because I think, yeah, they wanted to get away from the bolts. So we gave them every H circle under the sun. Um, as well as some additional H's that are all awesome and fun. Yeah, we're getting to the point now where we thought we were getting close on the illustration. We're like, okay, let's let's not go back and forth on this anymore. Let's get this this branding locked down. Totally. You know, we we feel like we're in a good direction with actually what the can looks like and the illustration and style. Let's now get this branding done and and move on to the rest of it. So, so we did. We got to this point and. And he was up in the air on, you know, does it have to have an H? And he kept going back to, yes, like I yeah, want an H in there. Totally. And so that's where we're trying, you know, is it a mountain? Is it a tree? And you've kind of seen some of these icon comps. And those mountains is what came back from that badge that we were talking about a little while ago. He's like, I just love that H. Can you make it into a badge? And, you know, some of these are ideas of that. And it's just like, it's not bad. And the, actually the feeling is like, this looks like a snowboard rental shop. I can <laughs> go there. Dustin kept saying, I could and go I'm and like, rent a snowboard and, and that's awesome. You know, maybe yeah. we're in Breckenridge and it's called, you know, high, high altitude ski rentals. Um, and it'd be awesome, but it just doesn't really feel like a brewery, you know? Yeah. yeah. And that's round three. Yeah. We're hopping into round four now. So round four. So now we're back looking back at round four. We kind of, it's been a year. We're kind of forgetting, <laughs> remembering. So they wanted to see their illustrations popped into our can layouts. And that's always defeating as we've, you've seen, we've probably, you know, illustrated 50 different little things. Um, and they're like, here, use our old illustrations in there. And it's like kind of a, you know, punch the gut, but it's like, all right, let's try it. Let's make it work. Um, yeah. It doesn't look new at that point. Why just yeah. leave your old stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah. He was trying to sell himself on, you know, is it just the head? Is it the head and the body? You know, if I commit to this full can, full color bleed of red, say for the the tree frog, like what does that look like with the old art in there? So it didn't scare him. Like it, it was almost like it, it was too much to see the branding, the new color and the new illustration all at once, you know? Totally. Uh, so we agreed and locked into a style of illustration. We we basically came to this understanding that some of the old illustrations had a shape behind the the character yep you know and it it tied to the illustration like kind of like the uh the spade right so we kind of agreed on every every illustration every character is going to have a shape behind it that it either sits in or sits in front of totally so that's where some of these came in fully rendered took them to final and then there was changes after this. Yeah. Man, like, seeing you flip to this page, more icons. Yeah. And he's talking about 
the rings and oh if we have three rings that'll represent the three founding owners and you know too many too much symbolism going on you know what i mean it's just like let's just make it look cool and we'll yeah. be okay you know yeah the you know there is a point where an icon or a logo can tell a story or connect to say your heritage or the old logo but there's a point where you have to leave some of it behind if you want something new and something that looks better, right? Yeah, and, and we were even trying to tell him, it's like most of that storytelling is done in marketing and advertising. Like yep. we can get you a great mark, but you're going to have to have a cool commercial that mm-hmm. that really breaks it down for somebody like my mom. That's not going to go, oh, three rings means this. Um, yeah. And we, yeah, we came with tons of options. And then we, we locked it up with the word mark. Showed it as positive and negative, so you have the mountain with the H. Somewhere in here, we already we thought we were done, so we built a whole brand book, and that's what some of those pages were. We're showing you kind of internal pieces of the brand book. Yeah, um, and and so that, and then after that, when like then he came back with changes again to the icon. That was kind of the breaking point of like, okay, this is now completely out of scope. Yeah, we've went above and beyond. We even. Like we have approval from you on most of this. We took it to the brand book and now you're still coming back with changes on the icon. Yeah. Like at some point you have to put your foot down and be like, whoa, hold on. This is a start over at this point. Totally. We need a new invoice. We need to agree on a new estimate, a new timeline, the whole deal. So, um, he kind of, he f- pushed back a little bit on that, but then in the end realized like, okay, yeah, you're right. You know, send me a new estimate. Let's see what that's going to cost and where we can go from here. So it, it ended up working out after this, as we went into round five and six, we actually ended up working with Bruce, their marketing director. Yeah, Shout out Bruce. Yeah. Bruce was on point. Um, Bruce kind of took control of the project and, uh, and we worked one-on-one with Bruce. I've always said this, like you're not working with Hopworks, you're not working with, you know, monster, you're working with whoever is the creative director or the marketing director, whoever that is at that company, that's who you're working with. Um, so you need to get along with them. You need to be see eye to eye on a lot of different things, you know, aesthetics, everything. This project has so many parts involved with it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we just need to be able to contact somebody instantly almost. And that's where Bruce stepped in and was, was awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, in, and if it's not working, maybe see, um, you know, just express your concerns. Totally. Um, I expressed to the owner that I don't think him and I saw eye to eye on, on this whole thing. And, and this has gone so sideways yep. um, that there really isn't fixing it at this point. And there was a point where it was like, hey. Well, let's just go our separate ways. Totally. Right. And, and sometimes that's like, oh, that's okay. You know, it it's, is. Absolutely. it's a creative you process will have that like you will go through that at some point you're going to end up with a client that you basically either say, I can no longer do anymore or you just walk away from whatever it is, but you will end a project totally. and not finish it because of the communication just was never going to be right. And then I think, you know, he, he liked circles and we liked squares and mm-hmm. it just kind of like, we, it wasn't going to mash up. It just wasn't, you know? And I think, yeah, we're in round five maybe right now. And there's just, yeah, really just more stuff to show, you know, we're searching where we're looking for new illustration styles. Um, so then in some ways, now that we head on to the next round, and, and he has a new invoice and things it, it, in some ways now. In his mind, it was like, okay, cool, start over. Now what about this idea? Can you illustrate this? Can you do that? So then, it, again, it started to like not head in the right direction. Commitment you know? problems. Yeah, it's it, like, was, it was. It's like, oh, I actually didn't like those illustrations. Can we try new ideas? And you're like, damn, I thought you liked that one. And if you like that one, we can make a whole family off that. Yeah. So moving on, we're in, we're in round six now and, um, we're just, we're flipping through some of these icons. These went back and forth and slight Um, variations. I mean, you're looking at this on screen and it's like little things are moving like slight color changes. I mean, as a designer, it's major, but if you're again, like my mom or my dad, this is, there's no difference to any of these. Yeah. But interesting. And this is, I mean, this is Dustin's, uh, Round seven there. This is Dustin's pain points here. I mean, he flipping he, through. 
you laid all these cans out and I don't know how many different labels you did well, here. But. Some of the challenges were if we look back, we have stickers on, on cans, which this is a different template. We have ball cans, which are printed cans, which even though they look similar are just totally different sizes. So it's like, it's not a new design, but damn near. I mean, you got to. Then you have this ball can, which is much taller. Oh, and then you have sizes. Yeah. Then you have 12 ounce. Uh, what is that? I don't even know. 16 and 19. They have the massive ones. So it's like, and then there's five, seven beasts times three different layouts. So like every time there's a change, I'm, I'm kind of touching 18 files. And then they obviously sometimes want it tomorrow. And it's just like, man, the volume is just too heavy, you know. We're now getting into round nine, scrolling through more illustrations and comps. And again, it's probably looking pretty similar to what we've been showing, but it's just the amount of back and forth of trying to find the solution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is what, round eight, nine? Uh, yeah, so we're, we're close, around, we're there. We're around 10 right now. Yep. Um, and it's again, This was pretty much done. I mean, you have every oh, label almost laid out. Yeah. Um, man we are locked and loaded we got this h that kind of looks like a mountain um which that changed they it did that. so that uh, yeah but then at the very end they came back paid for a whole new round just to explore the icon again yeah remember? yeah oh yeah um, i remember like everything was locked in hey, <laughs> we got the h it looks like a mountain cool it was two times actually yeah <laughs> and so here's another little tip like and I, I told him this, and I've and there's probably a better way to, to say it, but the whole, like, group grope of, oh, yeah. like, getting everybody in the company to review the art and the branding, the worst idea ever. And so some of the problems here were he was opening up, basically, the designs and the comps to everybody in the company, taking all their feedback, and instead of distilling it down to what, like I told him, I, somebody has to be steering the ship and somebody has to say yes and no, and that needs to be you. And you need to, you can listen to everybody's feedback, but you're going to need to ditch half, half of it and make a decision on what you move forward with, right? Yeah. Um, and so towards the end, there was a, some pushback on the icon, and he wanted the whole thing switched again. It was like, okay, this is a whole new project. This is what we're doing. Yeah. This is it. This is the end. After this, we're totally done. Um, and now we're at final round 12, and this yeah. is what... So we landed on a the H with the tree. You got the tree going up, tree, tree coming down yep. on the a little tree ascender. Uh, yeah. Descender. Yep. So we went back, and so this was a icon presented in round one or one or, one or two. two. Yeah. Yep. And so the whole thing went all the way back full circle to that to this icon. And it's funny because a lot of the comments is like, "Hey man, I was looking back at the round one brief, and that shit was so fire. Can we just make it like that?" And we're like. Well, just pick one of those if you like it. Yeah. It's like, no, let's make new stuff, but make it feel like that, which, you know, subconsciously, we found it. It was found early. Yep. Um, most of these illustrations were found yep. round two, three. Uh -huh. Type was found round one. So it's like interesting now to kind of relook at it and yeah. and see the whatever. I mean, well, obviously, we got paid for the time, but yep. like, man, we could have got there much faster, you know? Yeah, for sure. Um, so, yeah. So all in all, uh, a learning experience. Um it also got to the end of like, okay, you know, yes, you know, we build for, for all these new changes, this and that, but we still don't see eye to eye on, on the final output and outcome yeah. of all this, right? We're, we're somewhat happy with this. We're not 100% on board with how this ended out, ended up and, we'll, and what it looks like, right? I mean, even looking uh, at these final, uh, we're in round 12, there's like five or six that are in here. Yeah. Looking at these, again, totally not bad. They're cool, we could back these, no problem. But let's go back to round one and really look at those first six, seven cans. There's a couple in there that are tens and these might be nines. And, yeah. and if anything, maybe the people in the comments in here can let us know what their favorite design is and what round and what can and what whatever yeah um it'd be actually interesting to hear but yeah yeah so so we we ended it we we transferred all the files got them their their cans their branding you know the whole deal um and then you know i i kind of said hey we can't continue to work on this i mean they do they release a lot of beer every year i think it was like 18 different like a lot beers that they had like slated for the year they wanted us to do you know the illustration for every single can year after year and i told them like once this was over like hey 
good luck. You know, I'm, I'm glad you kind of, you guys got what you wanted here in the end, but we can no longer work on this with you. And man, it would have been so sick. Cause like, yeah, they had the seven flagship beers and then they get 18 rotating every year. Like, man, how fun as a designer to, to see all these cans. I mean, there's certain things in the industry that are kind of hard to get skateboard shoes, beer cans. So it's like, man, to have 18 plus cans out, like it would have just been so fun to continue to see it. But it's almost like when you're dating, it's like, Hey, we're not supposed to be together. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like, come we've on. tried. We know. Over and over. <laughs> it's, we're not, you know, it's not meant to yeah. be. So, yeah. I mean, and now looking back at the, what's the first comp here? Abominable. Um, what we ended up giving them, uh, they, they kind of took some creative freedoms on their own and it's, it's been a whole year plus we're at wherever Fred, yeah. Fred Myers getting some beer and see this and you're like, holy shit, they made it. It's out. Yeah. And then to see the little tweaks they did, um, it's just interesting. Like, okay, they didn't like one of the pieces of types I did. They put yeah. their old type back in. Okay. Yeah. Um, they brought, um, what's that? The snowflake in the yeah. background instead of the mountains. They got rid of the frame. Not super bad, but just interesting to see yeah. Yeah, would, what it looks like. Yeah. We wouldn't have done, done a lot of that, but yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just an interesting project that we've been sitting on for the last year. Um, like Dustin said, some of it's coming out, you know, now some of it is getting where half of it's ours, half of it's moved and shifted. So it's one of those projects where you, you want to claim it in the end and you're like, we kind of did that. We did most of that. Yeah, we did most yeah. of that, you know? So, um, so it's kind of like, Hey, don't get too excited and get ahead of yourself thinking like this is going to be great. And a year from now I'm going to be doing not only the cans, I'll be doing around all their advertising and signage and animation, like focus on what's in front of you and do your best to get that done and then move on. Yeah, that's uh, exactly it. Yeah. So can't win them all. Yep. Try your best, do yep. good work. Yep. Um, keep it PC with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but if you need to tell them, Hey, this isn't working, walk away, then walk away. Yeah. It's just business. Yeah. It's yeah. like, if you don't yeah. like the restaurant, don't go there. Yeah. If you don't, mm-hmm. if it ain't working, yep. it's all good. Absolutely. I think that's a good opportunity to go crack a yes. couple of these and yes. have some of these. It's a thirsty Thursday. So we we're thirsty. Gonna, we're going to stop here in the studio and go have a couple drinks and hell yeah. Call it a week. So, Thank you, everybody, for uh, tuning in. We appreciate it. Yeah. Hit that like, subscribe, bring the bell buttons. Yeah. Let us know what can you like the best. Yes, absolutely. All right. We'll be back.